Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. AI and what are going to be the impacts or ramifications with regard to AI being introduced into the VA system and what sort of uh, collateral damage potentially could happen to us as those users of the VA system. So with that, uh, there is some information that is starting to bubble now on this topic and I wanted to just touch base with you on this. So I'll read you off the headline then we'll jump into it. Tester, that's Senator Tester, the chairman of the U.S. Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs. Tester leads committee's first, first round table on AI and its potential impact on veterans care and benefits. Very important. I want to read through this, see if we can find any nuggets and uh, see what we can kind of ascertain from what's going on here. So please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. If you want to support the channel in other ways, please do so. You can become a member. That does help the channel out substantially. And it also helps me to find you quicker in the comments. You can do so by going to the homepage. You'll see highlighted members. Go ahead and click that join button there. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you. Uh, also, there is a second channel that I created that uh, is co-hosted. Love for you to check it out. That's Veterans Daily. Veterans Daily. All right, let's jump into it. So, Tester leads committee's first roundtable on AI and its potential impact on veterans care and benefits. Chairman discussed the current uh, and future use, the current and future use of AI, artificial intelligence, at VA with department officials and AI stakeholders. This just came out on Wednesday, uh, January 24th. And again, wanted to get this in front of you so you're aware. So, Senate Veterans Affairs Committee Chairman John Tester today hosted a landmark roundtable to discuss the current use and potential future application of artificial intelligence at the Department of Veterans Affairs to better provide veterans their earned health care and benefits. Tester was joined by committee members, VA officials, and an expert from the RAND Corporation. There's a quotation here. AI has the potential to make big changes to our world and can create new opportunities for VA to better fulfill its mission to serve veterans, said Tester. These new systems would improve our medical and scientific knowledge for the men and women who served. However, as AI continues to grow, it is critically important that it is implement that its implementation is ethical and protects veterans data and patient safety the senator continued today i want to hear about how va can leverage the potential of this technology to expand treatment options for veterans especially those in rural areas probably not going to put robots out in the rural areas to bang your knee and to check your temperature uh, probably not yet but who knows that might be that <laughs> That might be the future. Jeez. All right, let's move on. Uh, and use it to process veterans' claims in a more accurate and timely manner. Above all, I want to make clear that trust from veterans is critical for VA to fulfill its mission. And we need to ensure veterans and staff are included in any AI rollout. Staff need to be assured AI is going to assist them in their roles serving our nation's veterans, not replace them. During a roundtable, Tester questioned VA leadership tasked with AI implementation on the department's AI strategy and how it's currently putting AI into uh, action to serve veterans, especially in healthcare settings while protecting privacy. He also questioned VA on how AI could benefit the department's workforce, the largest employer in the federal government, and help minimize employee and provider burnout. The discussion also focused on VA's efforts to include veterans in its discussions to employ these new technologies. And I'll tell you, quite frankly, that has been the missing piece forever, is the actual user input, right? Um, the beneficiary input, our input, right? As a veteran, spouse, dependent uh, uh, perspective, right? Our input has lacked um, forever. Slowly, over the last maybe five years, there's been a little bit of needle movement in that arena with the implementation of, let's say, 
town halls in the local areas, that type of stuff. But even those are not well attended. Why? Because they do a horrible job of getting the word out. So it's the same eight people that go to everything, go to those. We need to be a little more involved, uh, but we can't be involved if we don't know, right? So same thing with like, for example, this situation that I'm reading. If I didn't go through this with you, you wouldn't know that it even is even a thing. So here we go. The discussion also focused on VA's effort to include veterans in its discussions to employ these new technologies. AI relies on a robust data set to operate and VA has the most comprehensive administrative, financial, and medical record data in the world. This provides VA a unique opportunity to improve its delivery of healthcare, advance its research, identify diseases, and guide patient treatment plans, expand veterans' access to benefits, assist in claims processing, and further medical and scientific knowledge for the betterment of all veterans. In 2019, the department established the National Artificial Intelligence Institute. In 2019, to serve as a guiding body for AI. And VA is currently engaged in more than 300 projects related to or directly using AI. Now, again, um, you know, I'll keep you abreast to what's going on with this as I see different things. Uh, already, I have found two or three different committees in which the VA is looking for new committee members uh, to, to join, right? You have to be nominated, you have to be selected, all that stuff. But I am pushing out that information uh, for you as well because again, it's, it's, this information's out there, but the bridge, the conduit between the information and us as a veteran population is what's missing. That's the missing piece is that conduit of information right so we need to work together to make sure that we're aware so as far as any committee member uh, uh, requests that type of stuff if you know somebody uh, you know forward it off to them forward them the the information uh, you know we all know a lot of people and some people have a little bit of extra time to and and a desire to be a committee member for the VA and to give their voice so with that the AI piece, who knows? I don't know yet if there is a committee for AI. I'm assuming that there will probably be one if there is not, and the reason why is because they're looking for the input uh, from from the constituency, right? From from the veterans, from those for those that they serve. So uh, I'll, I'll look a little deeper on that, and I'll push that out if I do find it. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one, and remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.